Good morning everyone. Today, I will be discussing the concept of blowout preventers. These are assemblies of valves attached to the casing head, designed to control or stop the flow of well fluids and or formation fluid from the wellbore into lower pressured subsurface zones. Annular bops and ram bops are the two types of blowout preventers. The purpose of blowout preventers is to prevent a kick, or an influx of formation fluid into the wellbore, as well as a blowout, which is an uncontrolled flow of well fluids and or formation fluid from the wellbore or into lower pressured subsurface zones. With the right blowout preventer in place, the well can be sealed in order to confine the well fluids within the wellbore. That is all for now about blowout preventers. I look forward to discussing the different types of blowout preventers with you in the next slide. This slide focuses on the selection criteria for blowout preventer or BOP. When selecting a BOP, several factors must be taken into consideration, such as the maximum anticipated surface pressure, the size of the casing hanger, the bit and other drilling tools, as well as the space available between the top of the cellar pit and the bottom of the rotary table. Additionally, the flange connection must match the size and pressure rating of the wellhead flange, and the service conditions must also be taken into account. Blowout preventers are used to control the uncontrolled flow of fluid from the wellbore. The size of the blowout preventer is determined by its LD, nominal diameter and through bore. All BOPs must be tested to ensure they can withstand the required pressure, with those of 2M, 3M and 5M tested twice and those from 10M and above tested 1.5 times. This testing process is necessary to guarantee that blowout preventers can do their job and protect against an uncontrolled flow of fluid. Blowout preventers are an important part of the oil industry. They work by controlling or stopping the uncontrolled flow of well fluids and or formation fluid from the wellbore into lower pressured subsurface zones. They come in two types. The annular BOP and RAM BOP. To ensure the reliability of these blowout preventers, there are certain specifications that must be met, which include the closure ratios and the minimum pressure required to close or open the BOP. The well bore pressure and the rated working pressure also need to be taken into consideration. By following these specifications and taking into consideration the various factors, we can ensure the safe and effective operation of the blowout preventer. RAM blowout preventers BOPs, are essential tools for controlling and stopping the uncontrolled flow of well fluids or formation fluid from the wellbore. Different types of RAM BOPs are each suited for a particular purpose. For example, pipe rams block fluid flow by making contact with and sealing around objects inside the wellbore, while blind rams seal the wellbore when no pipe is present. Variable bore rams have the versatility of sealing multiple pipe sizes, and shear rams not only seal the wellbore but are also capable of shearing the pipe present. In all cases, ram bops are indispensable for the safety of personnel and protecting the environment. In this slide we discuss the basic operation of the blowout preventers. This operation can be broken down into five main components. Opening line, opening chambers, piston, closing chambers, and closing line. In the opening line and chambers, fluid is allowed to enter the device, which is then regulated by the piston. Lastly, the closing line and chambers will close off the device, ensuring that the fluid is prevented from leaking out. This is the basic operation of a blowout preventer. In this slide, we can see the way a ram bop works when it is being closed. When the bore pressure energizes the top seal, it causes the ram body to make a seal at its sealing surface. This is then bolstered by the front packer, which seals against the pipe. This isolation of the well pressure when the BOP is closed ensures maximum safety. The RAM Blowout Preventer BOP, is often used to control or stop the uncontrolled flow of well fluids and or formation fluid from the wellbore into lower pressured subsurface zones. It consists of multiple components, including a RAM block, a top seal, packer rubber, two steel plates, and a packer on the other side. The two steel plates are held together so that a tight seal is created, 
effectively preventing the flow of fluid and ensuring the pressure within the well is maintained. A blowout preventer is a set of valves attached to the casing head of the well. It serves to regulate or close any outflow of well or formation fluid from the well bore to areas of lower pressure. Blowout preventers are categorized into two types, annular BOP and RAM BOP. The block assembly of a RAM BOP normally holds a top CI, ROGI, CAL, front packer and pipe rams. Additionally, there are front rams and ram assembly in the block assembly. Blowout preventers are essential pieces of equipment in the oil and gas industry. They consist of valves rigged to the casing head to control or halt the release of well fluids and formation fluids into areas of lower pressure. Two types of blowout preventers exist. Annular BOP and RAM BOP. Components of a RAM BOP include a top seal to keep pressure in, variable bore rams which reduce in size as pressure rises, a lower block serving as the base for the rams, a side ram assembly controlling the movement of the rams, and a clamp per blade block securing the rams in their place. Blowout preventers provide safety for personnel and equipment, as well as ensure the oil and gas extraction process is done with maximum safety and efficiency. The hydral ram preventer consists of emergency pack-off, which is responsible for sealing off the well in the event of an uncontrolled or unexpected flow. It includes a closing chamber, rod, tail, CJ, piston, rod, ring, packet seal and a seal. These components work together to quickly and effectively prevent uncontrolled flows. A Cameron ram preventer is a tool used to limit or prevent the sudden flow of well fluids and or formation fluid from the wellbore to lower pressure zones below. It is composed of a piston, a Henning bonnet closing, and a Bonner Oreo iod. The piston is forced upwards by pressure, forming a seal between the piston and the borehole, thus creating a path for the fluid. This device is essential in avoiding blowouts and other mishaps, as well as contamination. An annular blowout preventer, BOP, is a set of valves used to control the flow of fluid in a wellbore. These valves are usually large and contain a flexible, reinforced steel-segmented elastomer that can deform radially, forming a seal. An annular BOP can close around various shapes including square and hexagonal kelly, drill collars, and tool joint. However, they cannot close around stabilizers, bits, or under reamers. It can, however, close around open hole. Blowout preventers are indispensable in oil and gas production, safeguarding both the equipment and the environment. Consisting of various components playing an important role in the effective sealing, this slide shows us what they are. In an annular blowout preventer, the key parts include a wear plate, element segments, packing elements, and numerous pistons and chambers responsible for controlling the fluids that go through the seal. Additionally, there is a latching head used to fasten the system in position. Without these components, blowout preventers would be inefficient in providing a safe and reliable seal. Blowout preventers are an assembly of valves used to control or stop the uncontrolled flow of well fluids and or formation fluid from the wellbore into lower pressured subsurface zones. There are two main types. Annular BOP and RAM BOP. To ensure the blowout preventer is functioning correctly, it should be tested at least once a week. This function test should be done when the drill string is inside casing and the actuation time of each equipment should be within the limits specified by API RP53. 
The final accumulator pressure after the functions should not be less than 1200 psi or 200 psi above the pre-charged pressure of accumulator whichever is maximum. It is important to keep records of this process. I'm going to discuss how to conduct a function test on a blowout preventer. We need to record the initial accumulator pressure first. We turn off both the electric and pneumatic pumps, and close both the annular BOP and pipe RAM BOP. We open the HCR one by one, and wait until the pressure is stabilized. We record the closing time and then turn on the electrical and pneumatic pumps, and open all of the preventers. We record the opening time, as well as the final accumulator pressure. All of these results must be recorded in a prescribed format. Blowout preventers are a vital part of the oil and gas industry. They connect to the casing head of a well, and are either annular BOP or RAM BOP. Their primary role is to stop any uncontrolled outflows from the wellbore into lower pressure underground levels. To make sure these preventers are working properly, there needs to be a regular function test. This report documents the specifications of the rig, well, BOP stack, test procedure, beginning pressure, ending pressure and comments. All components of the BOP stack must pass the functional test in order to make sure it is operating effectively. BOPs, blowout preventers, are valves that are used to control or stop the flow of well fluids and formation fluids from the wellbore. There are two types, annular BOPs and RAM BOPs. For a low pressure test, a pressure of 200 to 300 psi should be applied and maintained for a minimum of 5 minutes. For a high pressure test, the rams and related equipment should be tested up to the rated working pressure of the BOP or the wellhead, whichever is lower. For an annular BOP, a high pressure test of 70% of the rated working pressure for the rams should be applied, with testing maintained for at least 5 minutes. We will be discussing blowout preventers and pressure tests. Blowout preventers are valves attached to the casing head and used to control or stop the uncontrolled flow of well fluid and formation fluid from the well bore. There are two types. Annular and RAM. Pressure testing is essential to check the integrity of all the joints and valves prior to sputting or installation. Clear water is the best fluid to use and pressure should be kept low and high for at least 5 minutes. Pressure tests should not exceed 21 days. Let's review these points and if you have any questions, please ask. When it comes to pressure testing blowout preventers, two types of tests can be performed a cup tester or a test plug. The cup tester is able to seal the casing and test up to 70 to 80 percent of its burst strength. However, it is important to note that the yield strength of the drill pipe may limit the test pressures. The test plug can be used to test up to the rated working pressure of a rambop and it is designed to seat in the well head and seal. Different well heads require different types of test plugs, and a blind or shear blind ram can be tested using this method. The slide in question contains a project detailing the various components of a blowout preventer, including the rig, test fluid, well number, test equipment, type of BOP, test pressure, and duration. The type of BOP includes the upper pipe ram, lower pipe ram, blind, shear ram, choke manifold, kill manifold, HYD valve on choke line, HYD valve on kill line, HP valves on the choke and kill manifold, IJKC, LKC and FOSV inside the BOP. It is essential to ensure both low and high pressure test pressure and duration are checked. An annular BOP and a RAM BOP are the two types of blowout preventers utilized in the oil and gas industry. The purpose of a blowout preventer is to stop the uncontrolled flow of fluids from a wellbore, making it a critical tool for the safe and effective operation of the well. It consists of various valves connected to the casing head. 
it is essential to properly understand and use the components of this safety device to ensure the safety of personnel and equipment.